Hey guys, Xglayboy here. I thought we could do a little something fun for the fifth episode, as well as every fifth episode. So, for this episode, I asked ChatGPT to make the snack. Let's see what it made. Hey ChatGPT, can you design a brand new bug snack? It needs to be based off of a food as well as a bug. Make sure it's an idea that hasn't been done already. How about a crayberry? It's a combination of a crab and a cranberry. Picture a small crustacean with a vibrant red shell resembling a cranberry but with crab-like legs and claws. That's eerily similar to a pre-existing bug snack. The cranberry idea is a good one. But there's already to crab bug snack. Perhaps change the bug? Of course. Let's switch it up. How about a cranby? It's a cross between a cranberry and a bee. Imagine a small, flying insect with a round, red body resembling a cranberry, complete with bee. Okay, clearly this isn't working. Think of the most obscure, unknown insect possible, and then make a cranberry bug snack based on that. Got it. How about a cranthopter? It's inspired by the obscure insect known as the thrips, a tiny, slender bug with feathery wings. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? <coughs> well, we've certainly got some work ahead of us. Let's go. Cranthopter. The Cranthopter isn't inherently skybound, but the darn bungers in the garden grove scare it off into the skies, far away from reach. Maybe if someone were to clear the area, they'd come down. So, let's grab ourselves a Cranthopter. So, as the journal entry reads, Cranthopters are so scared of the bungers that they fly off into the air to avoid them. So, in order to get one to come down, we need to catch a bunger. Anyways, now that that's dealt with, the Cranthopter will come down. And now, all it takes is a simple snack trap. Well, that was interesting. What do you guys think about the Cranthopter? Comment down below.